guys, it's Daniel from DashClicks. In this video, we're gonna go over Google Ads 101, and I'm gonna help you understand how to build a successful campaign, okay? So let's jump right into this video. So we kinda already know what Google Ads are, right? You basically use a search engine, i.e. Googly, and when you are searching, you will might see certain things in the search results, typically at the top, and they usually have a little box that says ad. And those are paid ads, i.e. Google ads, but also Google ads expand into banner ads. They expand onto other people's websites, Google sense. Um, and it even includes YouTube because Google bought YouTube. Okay. So what I want to jump into is one thing to do that you need to keep your mind on is that there's a little thing called a quality score when you're building a campaign and that kind of ranks your ad campaign between zero and a hundred. And there's three factors I consider that basically, uh, create this number. It's something that you should keep in mind and monitor because the higher the quality score of your ads, the better predictor of success it offers. So there's three factors to consider when trying to get a higher score. Um, the first factor is your landing page. It'll look at three areas. It'll check your, if it loads quickly, it'll measure conversion rate and it'll measure your bounce rate. The second area is the expected click-through rate. Now, Google knows everything, it has the data, so it can compare what you're creating to what its historical data has. And it will give you um, expectations on what they think your click-through rate is gonna be and that sort of thing. And also your ad relevance. So how well does your ad relate to the audience you're marketing to? And that's gonna create your quality score. It just gives you an idea kind of um, how strong your ad campaign is a predicted success factor. So let's get into some steps. The first step is to define a goal, okay? Do you want more sales or signups? Do you want more visits to your physical location? Or do you want more phone calls? What's the, what are you trying to get out of this campaign? Number two is add your business name and keywords. So you're gonna be adding like just basic info about your business, um, you're adding keywords relative to the type of services or products you offer to the population. Step three is perform primary keyword research. So when you are going to start designing an ad campaign on Google or a search engine, you are targeting people based on keywords, okay? So you need to do primary keyword research and you can use free tools and stuff and brainstorm and figure out exactly what keywords you want to target because I use the puppy example all the time. If you're selling puppies or something like that, um, you want to research keywords that have puppies in it so that you can make sure that your ad, if you want someone to purchase a puppy or something, then the, the phrases and keywords that people are using um, infer that they are actively searching to purchase a puppy, okay? Step four is set up the ad groups. So ad groups is gonna be, um, sort of like the internal targeting of the campaign. So before creating ad groups, you can divide your campaign based on certain factors like seasonality, the location you're targeting, products or services you offer, keyword performance or bidding rates, brand names and ge uh, generic names people normally use, and keyword matches. Step five is ad creation and landing page mapping. So this is going to be actually where you start connecting your landing pages to your campaign. And then you start saying, okay, so my ad is saying this. And when people land on my page after they click it, is that cohesive with my overall message and the action I want them to take? Step six is campaign creation and settings. So I highly recommend jumping into the description of this video if you're not already on the blog and visit the blog to look over all this because this goes in great detail. And just for the sake of this video, I want to kind of go over brief overviews of what to consider and stuff, but check out the blog. It goes in huge detail. It's really going to change the game on how you set up and run an ad campaign. Number seven is finalize your new Google ads account. So you've set up your campaign, you've gone through everything, you've set the account up. You just got to finish the rest of the admin stuff, which is like billing and payments and things like that. Making sure you have tracking. Once you're done, you're going to review and you're going to publish. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not already signed up for your forever free DashClicks account, go to DashClicks.com, just enter your email, it pops you in, it's forever free, you'll get access to all the apps, 
that will help you run your business and you'll get access to our white label fulfillment center. So check it out. It's super cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video.